So what's going on today? What's we haven't done a video in a couple of days. Okay. Uh, this is the brake system here. I had to make all this frame uh, and hook it up to the caliber so the brake works. And I probably have to cut that off there and shorten the pedal, eh? Okay. Uh, but anyway, we're all set to start now and try everything out. I see you got the drive shaft in. Yeah, the drive shaft, rotor, caliper, and brake systems in. So how confident do you feel this is firing up without any issues? Well, I don't know. We uh, we have to uh, see if the if the pump is going to pump from both tanks. The fuel uh, pump. The fuel pump. Okay. We got the cables on the door and the braces so that it doesn't bend the dash. Eh? Okay. Uh, Everything is on here, and we're going to uh, uh, bolt on that plate and tomorrow. And we took the plywood off of this side. I'll make a make a cover for it. Yeah. Everything is done here. Rad's full. Transmission's full. Uh, I had put the fuel pump up here. And I'm just hoping that it it pumps both tanks. And if it doesn't, then I gotta put the fuel tank back down here again. Okay. I see you got even fuel and fuel tanks already, so Yeah, well another thing is uh with all the electrical that's that's hooked up with this this uh computer setup. I put a master switch on. Eh? Oh, right. Yeah, you've been talking about that. So uh, at the end of the day, he shuts that off, and there's no chance of fire. Eh? Okay. So this, you've done quite a bit here. Like, you got the painting, and you got... Uh, yeah, the body work and the painting. And, and I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to make uh, covers here that fit tight around yeah. the neck. Eh? Okay. So what big things are you missing on this uh, this bomb of yours? The only, the only thing left to do now is I put that RPM gauge in. It's all hooked up, light works and everything. But I don't know where in the hell to hook it up on that computer back there. Oh, I see. Okay. And if I happen to short it out, I could burn something out. So I'm, I'm not going to uh, hook that up for now. See here, that's where that chunk of plywood yeah, I was. Remember, yep. What they done is they cut that, smashed it out to take the differential okay. in or out, and then just pound it back. So I'm gonna make a nice tin cover there to cover that. So you're gonna cut that out? And no, no. Put over top. Uh, what should happen here is cut this like this. Yeah. And here, straight up, take that right out, and then put a tin cover on. Okay. That's what should happen. So quite a bit of work done here. Oh, this never ended. How, how confident do you feel about getting this up, this one out of the shop by the 20th of December? Oh, this one will be ready. Okay. A few more okay. days. Okay. Well, we're, we're good there. So what are we missing on the Ashram bomb here? Okay, on Ashram. I got a new switch here. I, I have to put in here somewhere because this is where the battery is. Okay. But I want to make sure that this fuel pump works. Being as high as what it is, uh, they have to, that fuel pump has to draw out of both tanks. Okay. So I don't want to put this switch in until uh, I test this. Okay. Uh, another thing is... Uh, I made, uh, while we are at it, we made a, a brake cylinder adjustment. Eh? This is what works the brake cylinder, the plunger. Okay. This is how it sits. Now, when you pull the, press the pedal, it pulls and it pushes the brake cylinder 
there's the new brake cylinder there but that doesn't just drop in you have to make make this and then mount that onto here and bolt it up so this one will be ready shortly and then next we're going to finish ash up you uh you feel confident about getting both of them out of here then and by the time that well, December 20th rolls around? I'm or? hoping. I'm waiting for the drive shaft and the rotor for that one. So that one still just has to be machined. And uh, that's got to be machined. This took two weeks. So I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. Any tip of the day for the boys? <sighs> <laughs> the tip of the day is a hard one. <laughs> this, like I said before, you're better off to get a body and build from there than take somebody's junk out and then replace it. Okay. Okay, that's it for today, guys. That is really progressing here quite far. Keep continuing to like, comment, subscribe. These these short cutters just give you a hell of a headache. Yeah. Like first of all, wouldn't you Put the battery on this side where the starter is yeah. instead of putting it over there and then put electrical in that's so short that you can't take it from that side and put it on this side. Yeah. Like that that fandangled effort there. All these are on so the doors can only go open so far. That's it.